This is the night of the year when the spotlight shines brightest on the music world, when every slice of the spectrum has its moment. Cambridge's Pat Metheny is among the Jazz Fusion nominees at the Grammy Awards show. It's striking that in that jazz category, in the form that black musicians invented, four of the five nominees, including Pat Metheny, are white. A sign of the times, as Marcus Jones reports. <laughs> This is the face of jazz music today, not black or white, but integrated, a mixture of races and cultures. This is the theme music of the American melting pot, inspired by greats like Armstrong and Ellington, carried on today by young people like Delphio Marcellus and Patrick Collins. It was developed by blacks, but that doesn't mean that white people or, or whoever can't play it or enjoy it. But as long as it isn't, as long as the history is represented uh, accurately. Pat Collins hails from Vancouver, Canada. When he graduates from Boston's Berklee College of Music, he hopes to return to Canada and begin a career as a jazz musician. He's not alone. More and more young whites are training to become jazz and blues musicians. The irony is that fewer blacks are following in that tradition. You're never going to take the blackness out of blues or jazz. You know, it just won't happen. It's the music of black people, uh, by black people. Uh, what's really happening is that uh, the, it's kind of, it's getting to be taken for granted as part of the black culture among the youth. What would you say most black students are interested in, in performing these days? Oh, uh, definitely pop music. The majority, definitely. This is what young blacks have set their musical sights on, the fame and fortune that come from performing pop and R&B tunes. On black radio stations, it's about all you'll hear. But young Marcellus, who has seen two of his brothers make it big in jazz, says it's important for blacks not to abandon the art form. It has to start in the house, in the household. When I was, people think that when we were young, I, my father just whipped us and locked us in the closet, but. He let us go to the jazz club and run around. We used to play darts, you know, eat food. These old men used to tell us dirty stories. But we heard the music, and it was around us. And he always said, oh, that's OK. Let them go ahead and do their thing. So that when we hit 15 or 16, or for me, when I hit 18 or 19, and I started to say, damn, this really is happening. Let me check this out. Baby, please don't go down to New Orleans. Because I love you so. Baby, you are a natural born blues man, Andy. You are too, bro. <laughs> Even television and films reflect the growing appreciation among whites for jazz and blues. Music professor Jackie Beard says that's good. He hopes it will inspire black kids to realize their role in carrying on the tradition. It's a black music. It'll be there. But, uh, of course, the, uh, the interest of the white musicians, the white kids are very interested in it. And it seems that, um, you know, if I'm going to pass the torch, I have to pass the torch to who's going to keep running with it. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones. And that's our news. I'm Christopher Lydon. Good night. <laughs>